Right, Roman Road Part 2. Uh, this is not the one we've been working on, this is the one lowered down with the big huge rock. Uh, right, I'm gonna open a little trench in here, a square trench, same as we're doing over there. I'm gonna do it for myself and see if there's another layer under this. And I'm gonna go down another layer as well, see how we get off and go from it. Right, cut a little square out, two foot square, there's your road coming out, now uh, that seems to be the clay bank that's been put up there, what I noticed was there was no uh, slope on the stones up a bit further, unless the, the original road starts coming down, but there's stones in here, yeah, so this was all it was like that, but it was loose. It wasn't like that part we checked earlier. So maybe it was a little down. Or, I don't know, we'll come back in a bit and stick more. Having a quick look at the road here. I think in, this is the end of our road. The road was there. It starts going down. And, because we got the clay, we said all that was loose. So I think, like, uh, later on in life, they just put another layer to widen the road when they were using it for in the Kavafa Park. The original road is still under there, as we see now there, the solid stuff. No way I'm getting stones beer. So maybe that has to finish the car by uh, coming down by there. And then it's just this loose being built up into this big ditch. They, they put anything. So we'll go from there. Right, they've gone down uh, just about half a foot, three quarters of a foot. Uh, got all the loose stones out. They were, they were hard, they weren't really compact like that on the surface, a bit looser. And I don't know too, like, well you can see how dry all this stuff come out. It's like a, it's like a clay, but it's like a sandy clay, it's not sticking, it's not, which is down in there. So I got all this level in there now. Uh, I haven't dug that out, that's the ditch, so I might, that'll come out easier, that's all clay. So I might take a little bit of the ditch out, just to show you. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, stones all the way down into there. But like I said, it was really sandy. So, whether that's the layer, you know, which is underneath that complex stuff. But, uh, hard to say. I think we'll go down from there now and have a bit more tonight. Right, to wrap up yesterday's video, my battery ran out. Uh, let me see up here. Have a look. I've gone down a foot underneath this possible road. And you've got this, it was orange type layer, and there's loads of it. And then I've gone right down in there, or down another half a foot, whatever. Water's in overnight. And that's a bit. He said I had oyster shell last night, right on the top of the road there. I said I don't know what it is all in. Looks like pot cream disintegrated or oh, what I've been told could be burnt clay in there. It was like a layer of it. You can still see it in by there. So I might open a bit of mold up, see if there's any more over there. Or I might take open this ditch up, see how it goes in. There we go. Uh, just for the record, uh, the stones. Uh, we're all in here, the road, as you remember, and this is a clay bank, so it just, this is the bank we put up against there, and all the stones are in there. Let's chuck them all in here, as you can see. Just that another bit down there with the shovel, where it was the... And there's a big stone now, right under there, as you can see here.
Right, the more by the Fosper Roman Road and where the big stone is, you know, where we open all up. And I'm going to put a trench in now. If you look by there, you see the road, and you can see it by there. So you've got this middle part blank. So I'm going to put a trench in across that part and across that part near to where the stone is. I'll put a little trench in by there, see if we can find anything. Right, I've got a good scrape. I said I come back over that good bit of rut. I'll come back about two foot. Nice compact surface. So you see now this is a bit shallower. Comes up a little bit and then back down. New bank I think gone into it. So I'm gonna take this area out now. See how we get off. Right, a good scrape and like I said, it's been empty in by there. Well, I've gone down a layer perhaps. This is a top layer which may have been added on. Then you got your bank coming down perfect. Yeah. So, carry on now. Right, uh, a bit of deja vu. Sky's opened up again. That's three times I come in now. It was due to rain anyway, but it been not bad all morning. But uh, I started making all. I'm going to have big stones now. And big ones coming out. Layer, more finds here. I think it's going to be a bit further on down by there if that's through the ditch. But rain stops free again. It's hammering down at the moment, so I'll come back in a bit see how I get on. Right! Right, one of the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> it is torrential rain now. The thunder and lightning's gone. It is getting bad now. Uh, it's going down, dig, keeping down, digging. But I don't know how much longer to be. May fall a day in a bit. I went down to my last bag. Twenty minutes later, and there's no torrential rain. It's not letting up. But uh, we give it another 10 minutes, keep it hot, but uh, not looking too good today. Never mind, it's another day. Right, it's still raining, but uh, I managed to loosen up another layer. So, even you know, if I get out today or something, I'm only down about half a foot, three quarters of a foot. But uh, you can't see nothing here, but it should take start here. Right, the sun has come out and it's a little bit picky, but it looks like blue skies up there. But uh, got a fair bit coming out there now. And I've gone down about half a top, so only about half a foot, the foot. But there was a foot of all compact stones, and I got hard to see if it was a layer, it felt like a couple of layers perhaps. I'm almost down in the clay now, a little stone here and there. I'm gonna dig that out, clean it up, and come back. Right, I'm down about a foot now over the road, from the top of the road, as you can see up there. Uh, clean the little square out. Uh, you see this bit of uh, red, I don't know, only scraper. Some of there as well, I don't know what it is. And in this corner, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to get a yellow bit, I don't know if it's pottery or something, or something disintegrated, but that's down another layer you now, so it's about, like you said, if you look at that way, it's about a foot. Let me get up, have a look. So we're down about a foot. If you look at some more angle, you see the top soil, half a foot, and then we're down a foot. In the Roman road, the possible road. And he said we got all that, so we got all out lovely. And uh, square as I can. And then I'm just going to scrape in there now, so I can go down and see what's happening. But if you look at it from the road side, there's your road. The road's under there, covered there. And if you notice, I've had all these stones and all that. Big stones as well, all coming out there. But 
but uh, it's come in. Next part now is uh, give a good scrape, hopefully get some fines in there. Fingers crossed. Right, I just got it out slowly, a bit of yellow, and this has disintegrated. I don't know what it is, but it's just breaking away in my hands, like I mean. But uh, there is pot, so I don't know. Hard to see. Looks like a bit of pot, but it's going to be old. Uh, fingers crossed. Have another bit of it, yeah. I mean, need some nice scrape pines in there now. Right, decided to have a scrape and uh, got all this red. I don't know if it's burnt clay, but right, a bit of this just come out. It does look like a bit of pottery. It's only tiny. So, but it does look like pot. So, fingers crossed, keep going. Right, I'm getting down to the layer, I think I was in the other day. I'm starting to see, I don't know if you see uh, it's a uh, disintegrated pot or whatever it is, all in. But uh, we're getting down to the layer, so I'll get all this out and then come back and have a look. Right, my notes in this section, we've got a bit of black as well, so there's a bit of burn going on in there. And so we down a foot under the road. Right, scraping, we've got more, uh, this red again, pot, I think, we've got some of there, some of there, it's all over the place, so hopefully we get a good lump of it now, somewhere. Right, I give it a good scrape now, it seems to be orange, I don't know if you can see it, all over the old layer, and it seems a big lump there, no, my luck, it's going to be an house brick, that's usually my luck, but Last time I seen something like this was down Pendana Park when the archaeologists were scraping the road and they found loads of just orange like this and then they come across good stuff but that's not my luck is it but we'll see there's a big bit of there so we'll get that out next and open something Rain stop plate again second time of today hammering it down thunder and lightning sky rumbling then we haven't stopped, got some of that orange stuff out there, that layer. You can see the different colours as it's happening. <laughs> Those are black layer, start, the top section. Then we come into like a more clay black section, different colour to the top, first part. And then we got this kind of then, it's like orange, clay, sandy stuff. I've dug down in there now and loosened it some up. We can have a minute as you can hear <laughs> the thunder lightning. So, I'll have a break for a minute. Hope this goes over again. Right, it's getting worse. I can't see now, it's just running down my face. It's getting bad here now. I think it's time to call it a day. I'm going well over there as well. But, I'm going to have another day. I mean, always tomorrow. I don't know, so I might come out in a bit now. But, I'll call it a day today. Right, that's me done. Still raining, not as bad. But uh, everything we do, you can't sit in there. I mean, I'm in black, like, through my arms. But uh, just to wrap it up for today. Uh, see, I've gone down a good, uh, uh, over a foot, foot and a half. On his one big rock down there now nothing else in there but there's one big rock so that's about it for the day and I'll call it a day and come back tomorrow hopefully right day two uh torrential rain uh, put me off yesterday after two bouts there found the lightning so I'm back today over the road uh there's a wall from yesterday. Uh, just want to show you before we start the difference in colours in soils. Right there was our top stuff. Then we moved on. You got to a bit of lighter brown stuff. And then down to the, the third level is uh, like an orange stuff. This is all the, the red pottery in yesterday as well. 
really dry stuff. So as you see things, levels. Uh, today I cut a little section across here just to see how it's made up and maybe possible come across this way. So section in there a little bit and then come across this way. Right, I sweeped all that stuff to the side now, so you see where we are. There's your stones. Stones, someone's had a fire in here. You see it tidy you now. Stones, stones. So I'm going to dig a little channel in there, and then come across here. Right, I've gone down a couple of inches, about three inches, and uh, a couple of uh, biggest stones coming out. Not big, big, but you know, we're with this clay level, so it's not really natural. We don't know under the topsoil about two foot, so you go in, see how it looks. Right, they've gone down a fair bit here. Uh, They've gone down about three, three and a half foot, and the uh, from oh, four foot. See, there's your top of your road. There's your road to about there. Your good foot of you know cobblestone ziggies. Four foot, then you get the clay. So I'm trying to go down as deep as I can, just show you the soil. There's the bottom there. A black has just dropped in from the road. But, uh, same as I was going around. To top your road. Going down. Top your road. Down. Stone finishing. Clear hours. On we go. Same as I Road, right, and we go. See me say, see me. We go. I'll measure a shovel later. Just as an example, how deep we are. The shovel's about three and a half foot, I think. So that's to the top side, that is. So take the, the handle away, and then you got the rest. So deep here. And it's still going down in the clay. Can't seem to get a bottom there's still small stones coming in there, in the clay. So, I might go down a little bit more, that's my lot then. Right, I'm gonna, I don't go down no deeper, I can't hardly get in there anyway, I'm leaning over now, it's the last handful I could get just now, but, uh, so what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna put a, a little trench in across our way, the follow, see which way the bank goes down, uh, outside here as well, I'm gonna go up to this stone I think, and see what's going on here, just, uh, you know, half of that, whatever, Come down to the stone and uh, see what's going on there. This earth, this bank. Right, I've dug this out now. Uh, gone down uh, through topsoil, very thin this side. There was hardly any topsoil on there. This side there. As you can see, but there, get thicker. And he goes to nothing, obviously, which is a bank. Uh, I've gone down about half, half a foot of the road. I've gone down here. There's a lot of clay in there, in this section there. And then you've got loads of stones again, rocks. But I think it's starting to slope down there uh, to the stone. So, wherever that's the end of your road, dipping down. And this big ditch is the ditch, the water ditch or whatever. But uh, it is coming right down the fuzz, yeah. So it, is a, it could be even wider than we think it was up there. 
so we can't really get our bearings. So hard to say, yeah. But uh, we have the stones we put in later. We'll just push in. Was up here for a reason. So there's a few big ones around there, but who knows? But uh, yeah, that's basically it. I don't know where the clay bank is. The natural bank. Well, it's under there somewhere. So you can see the rise on it. If you look up there, see so all these stones be here, clay, and we got exactly the same up the other side of the road. So. And it's like clay is the ditch, and all these stones are an outer level. I don't know if Roman roads were like that. Hard to say. So I'll come back in a bit. Right, just started scraping, and straight away we're hitting the orange stuff again. You see there? Seems a bit of some loads in there again. So it's all in this clay level, for some reason. So I'll come back in a bit. Right, still scraping. We can see it seems to be thicker now. Big bit of it again. Oh, I don't know. Come back. Right, I'm just scraping out down this level of road. And I come across what this looks like white mortar again, like we had yesterday. But I know there's only rock on the other side. I don't know. Probably got red there on it. Just look. I don't know if it's. Uh, the plaster, is that? Looks interesting, one. Right, I cut a little section out. Clean that up in there. <coughs> Big root, but they're massive root. Got to cut them. <laughs> uh, so I've cut this section out. But where the wall started to dip down, I've left that section in. So if you turn it that way, you can't really want to go back further. We've got that deep one in there, a surf section. We got two bits of med pot up there just now. And you see your wall we're still going down. Well, that's a bit for now. I'm going to leave that part in. I think I'll just take this down deeper. I might try and go deeper in that wall as well. See what happens. Now I'll put another little hole in there. And nothing come out. There's a lot of burn in there. It's a burn. Uh, this is out there now. So you got your wall going down, floor going down, nothing but I here, uh, and deeper. This is the same stuff, the orange stuff that's just coming out, so it's going to be all the same all through it. So I think that's about it. Time's up for three, so I think it's time to wrap it up. I would leave it open, but it is a bit dangerous. You're looking about four or five foot down there, like so. I might take a little bit out now before I fill it all, just to see the, the bank ain't going all the way down to the fin. <laughs>